Hey, we'll see you guys. Your boy Tom back with another video, and uh, I'm glad to be back doing videos on this scenery again uh, at my mom's house. Like for a lot of the, for a lot of these videos that you see me do uh, last summer, and have done this since three months ago back in April uh, when I was visiting. But and I'm visiting again just for another uh, nine days. So I should try at least do a couple of videos. Uh, with the scenery in the background uh, of a mom's place before I leave next Saturday. But anyway, I just want to do a part two video of exposing April and Wayne show uh, to cover more stuff uh, from my last video exposing April and Wayne show. And I'll tell you one thing, I'm going to expose them in such a cool, calm, collective manner. And uh, for anyone who want to like, cuss me out, or yell at me, and give me crap, I'll still respond to you in a nice, cool, calm way, because it's a good look just to like, still be calm uh, when you respond to the crazy people who are coming at you crazy, yelling at you, and just cussing your butt out. But anyway, I also, I also want to expose April and Wayne show uh, for exposing Michael Jackson over over lyrics in the, so in the Earth song that they, take, they took the wrong way or they take so damn literally. But yeah, April and Wayne show, I don't understand why you think Michael Jackson is blaming God for the problems in the song, Earth Song, when, when Michael Jackson is only uh, expressing how he feels. I don't hear him blame God at all in that song. I mean, Michael Jackson is definitely not blaming God in the song, Earth Song. He's only saying, like, what, what, what have people done to the world, you know? He's only asking, like, what have we done? And, uh, because it's just the, it's the people themselves that are responsible for the problems in the world because of their actions and stuff. Yeah, so basically I don't get how you can just take that song the wrong way. It's, it's an awesome song. He was even asking the people, did you ever uh, stop to notice like the, all the children dead from war? <laughs> you don't gotta take him saying, what about all the peace that he pledged his only son? You don't, you don't gotta take that lyric so literally. Like, you know, like we're all wrong about stuff, you know? Like, we're not, no one's right about everything. I forgot. Yeah, and you're so wrong when you think Michael Jackson cursed and blasphemed against God when you thought that Michael Jackson said he didn't give a damn. No, in the song he was he was he was asking the question, do we give a damn? Like do us people give a damn about this world, this earth, and our hum humanity in the world. And Michael Jackson was not a Satanist just because he was doing some symbols when you gotta realize he was only undercover. And the music industry wanted to kill him because he was speaking truth, especially when, when he did that song that they don't really care about us. And you can't just take certain songs of his and consider Mike satanic when he was just undercover, like when he did certain songs. So basically you're just leading people away from a truth speaker who spoke all kinds of truth in his music to reach out to people. But I'm not, but I'm not going to fall for uh, some, some of your stuff since I know the truth for myself. So it's just easy to tell that Mike's heart was in the right place and he cared about humanity. And who are you, and who are you to think Michael Jackson's trying to be Jesus when he was only being a descendant of Christ and being like an angel to show people love that Christ taught us to do. And Mike even said in one interview that he's not Jesus Christ, but Jesus taught his people to be innocent and pure like children, as that's somewhere in the book of Matthew. And one person even said that April and Wayne's show says anything that's not of God is of Satan, like dancing. Well, there's something wrong with dancing because people in the Bible danced when they were rejoicing for God and just having a good time, you know? And y'all are wrong when you say Michael Jackson's dance moves are satanic when they are not. He's just real talented with a gift from God. And you can't take that from Mike. And you'll be surprised to know that he's in heaven. And I just noticed when Jesus told my friend through his voice. So... So I think you've been exposing Michael Jackson, because I think you're probably jealous of him and his talent and his heart for humanity. And plus, you need to learn how to move on, because most of your videos are just exposing evil, and God never called anyone to expose only evil. And God would tell you it'd be time to move on to talk about a different topic. And I'm glad when I do my videos, I'll talk about all kinds of topics that are interesting but at the same time, I'll keep God and Christ exalted. But if you could hear God's voice, he would talk to you about all kinds of things as well. Not that I can hear God's voice right now, but I can believe it from a person who can hear God if their videos are different messages from each other, talking about all kinds of deep topics from the Bible, or the spiritual realm, or all sorts of things of God, or all sorts of things that's going on in the world. 
but at the same time while keeping God and Christ exalted. But don't get me wrong, it's good to expose things here and there to show how Satan is at work, because the Bible does say expose the works of darkness. But it seems like you're obsessed with the works of Satan, if that's what you, you're mostly focusing on. But I'll admit, I only did one video exposing Illuminati, and I'm not, I'm not going to do any more because everybody else is already exposing the ill Illuminati. And it just ticks me off when you guys expose whatever you claim to be evil when some of the stuff you expose is not evil when it's great music that helps people. As even one YouTuber was exposing you guys saying you were obsessed with how Satan is at work and that you'll expose whatever you claim to be evil. Like I said, some of the stuff you think is evil is not. When I find you're being goody good extremists in that way, don't get me wrong, most of the stuff you guys expose is truly damn evil that deserves to be exposed. But we gotta avoid obsession, though, because I even did a video talking about avoiding obsession, because God's a God of balance. But this is, but this will be my second and last video exposing you, April and Wayne show, as I'll be done getting my point across. And you guys also need to know how to, know how to move on and uh, talk about other things that's deep from God's word, like we gotta teach people how to get people's names in Jesus' land's book of life. And I already uh, exposed you in my last video where you were misleading people on how to get saved and escape hell. And it's and you guys say it's to say the sinner's prayer, and it'll be all good. When God, Jesus, or anyone in the Bible has never told anyone that's the way of being saved. When I'm glad I broke, I broke. I broke down all the scriptures on how to get saved in my last video, exposing April and Wayne show. Except for one scripture I forgot to say in that video, and that's, your name has to be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And that's in Revelation chapter 20, verse 15, where it says, Anyone whose name was not found written in the Book of Life was thrown into the lake of fire. And I'm like, yeah, that's pretty damn dangerous right there. But yeah, like I said, you guys need to move on from what you talk about in your videos, because talking about all kind of stuff while keeping God and Christ exalted is a real good balance there, and God is a God of balance. But I'll admit, I used to not been able to move on when I was worldly before I came to God, where I didn't want to let go of people who ripped me off, and I feel I would only move on if I got payback on them. Or my mom used to say I was fixated on it, where she says I was mildly obsessed. But thank God, uh, when I studied His Word, the desire of revenge went away, while learning the Bible that getting revenge is a sin and just really helped me let go and move on but yeah I just thought I'd share a part of my testimony with any of you guys watching this video though I'm going to do a song rapping about my whole testimony but anyway that's all for this message and like I said I'm not going to do any more parts to April and Wayne's show because I, I love avoiding obsession if you're watching this April and Wayne I hope you take real heed to this message and just take my advice to do better things for God and his kingdom. But anyway, you guys take care and just think about what I've said.